I'm trying to make popular national dishes from around the world, and today we're stopping by South Korea to make their bibimbap. First side is sigam chi namal. It's blanched spinach that's chopped and seasoned with salt, garlic, sesame oil, and toasted sesame seeds. Side two is kung namal mochim. It's bean sprouts that are rinsed, boiled, and then seasoned with salt and garlic. Sides three, four, and five are sauteed carrots, zucchini, and cucumber. They are all cut up and seasoned with salt so the water can be drawn out of them, and then they all get sauteed separately. There's no shortcuts over here. The zucchini is sauteed in garlic and scallions, and then the cucumber is cut into half and sauteed with just garlic. The next side is the beef, and I sliced it up bulgogi style and marinated with garlic, soy sauce, sesame oil, and honey. The last side is gosari. It's Korean fern break that's soaked overnight, then boiled and strained and sauteed in garlic and soy sauce. You can now assemble your bowl. I heated up a clay pot and added sesame oil to the bottom along with white rice and all my toppings added. You should hear some sizzling, and after a few minutes, it's ready. And the pot stays so hot that when you stir up the eggs and beef, it actually gets cooked. And don't forget your gochujang. The taste of this left me speechless. I am without words. This gets a 9 out of 10.